Dans ma goût, dans ma goût, dans ma goût. How many times did we call you? Voices have risen from the National Assembly to speak out and stop you. You have a chance to resign immediately, leave or be embarrassed out of the party. At least, 60 of us in the PDP in the National Assembly will severe all relationship with your leadership until you leave office. Conference, on the alarm by 60 PDP federal lawmakers who are members of the opposition lawmakers coalition on the ongoing plot by the Omar Elia Damagun leadership of PDP to hand over the party structure to the ruling party and the move to use the federal high court to legalize the illegal extension of the tenure of Rivers LGA chairman. Fellow Nigerians and gentlemen of the press, it is with a heavy heart that we have summoned you today to come and hear us out. We appreciate the gesture of your presence and will not take it for granted. Gentlemen, many of you may have heard rumors about ongoing events in our party, the People's Democratic Party, where there have been allegations of doctoring of Katika committee members' list in River State and at least 10 states in the country. This story is quite unfortunate, and we can confirm to you all that it is not a rumor, but facts. We have obtained very credible intelligence on the ongoings in our party's Wadata House National Secretariat, and it does not stand right at all. We currently have in the PDP a national leadership that is in bed with the APC and is working extremely hard to hand over the party to APC. Following the removal of Senator Iyachua Ayu as national chairman of our party, an assumption of office by Omar Iliya Damagun, who was elected as deputy national chairman to act in his state. The party has only known misfortune and abdicated its responsibility as the leading opposition party in the country. That role which Nigerians would have loved the PDP to play as an institution, it truly, it truly is, has been abandoned for a plate of porridge. A serious leadership would have set up structures to review what why and how the party failed to win the last presidential election, and also failed to secure majority in both chambers of National Assembly. Rather, the Oma Damagun led NWC is working to hand over the party to the ruling APC and their agent. A serious leadership would have looked into the act of open anti-party activities, established why they happened, and set up measures to ensure that it never happened again in the party. A serious party leadership would have seen the end of election or even the tribunal matters gone around to thank members and rally them for the challenge ahead of being the opposition and offering credible alternatives to the people. We do not have any of this. But again, imagine if we had such with the current state of the nation. Imagine the suffering of Nigerians because PDP as opposition does not have direction due to the activities of Damago. This is very disheartening. Disheartening because this is a man who is not supposed to be in the office in the first place. He was only constitutionally allowed to step in, hold the fort and midwife the process through quid the North Central Zone, where the chairmanship of the party was originally zoned to present another person who would complete the slot of North Central. Now, not only did Damago hold tight onto the seat for over a year now, he has abandoned the responsibility of the office of chairman of PDP and is very comfortable serving APC interests. There have been agreement of a broad spectrum of the party leadership. When it became clear, that Damago was not interested in conducting election, but appoint Kiatika committee in at least 90 states, where the tenure of the state and local government leaders were expiring, to extend the tenure of these officials by three months. This decision, which was made to cover every state, was the wisdom that restrained Damago from announcing a whole cell list of majority of Kiatika committee populated by APC agents masquerading as PDP members. However, despite that decision to retain everybody, Mr. Damagu went ahead and received a list of APC agents and announced them as members and leaders of PDP local government theatrical committee, homes only in rivers and partially in at least 10 states. This is a direct attempt to kill the PDP and ensure it goes into extinction. To make issues clearer, we are speaking on behalf of at least 60 lawmakers in the opposition lawmakers coalition in the National Assembly. We all won our election without any form of help or support from the party. It has become clearer to us that this scenario was fostered so that as many as possible as uh, as many of us will have failed that election. Against their wish, we won the election, and now Damago and his co-traveler has launched the phase two of this protocol, which is to hand the structures of the party to interest working for APC. 
It is on this basis that we, the genuine PDP lawmakers, who believe in our party and its ideas, hereby announce today that we will not stand idle and allow Damago to destroy the effort of Sir Elias Ekweme, Prince Solomon La, Abu Bakarimi, and other eminent former leaders of this great party. We therefore declare that if the list in River State PDP Kiatika Committee and the other 10 states we are to stand, then we, the lawmakers, will reconsider and severe relationship with the party and seek new alliance if the writing is not done. Some leaders may not boldly speak out, but as you all know, we won our election by scoring against the devil themselves so we can speak out. Let us send this note of warning to all in PDP and are part of the leadership of the party at whatever level. That this PDP local government leadership will mark the end of the party if Damago Tam pass with the original agreed list of Kiatika committee members for River State and other 10 states. Gentlemen, what Mr. Damago is doing to PDP is worse than what Alimo the Sheriff did or intended to do. Presently, in all the states where PDP is not the governor, Damago has already concluded an amendment to hand the party leadership to APC. In the specific case of River State, the Kiatika committee members from Damago's office are LUGA chairmen produced by former River State House of Assembly members who, as we all know, have lost their seats following their defection to APC. They have formally left the PDP and Damago is taking a list from them to announce. Gentlemen, please, Try and imagine what could have led to the national chairman of a party discussing issues of party leadership with people who are not members of that party. Imagine how the discussion of how to collect a list from non-party members were conducted and imagine the terms and conditions of that entire episode. Now I begin to wonder why despite all political crises in River State, our acting national chairman has maintained absolute silence. He did not intervene. He did not lead his executive to storm rivers at a time our party-led government came under unconstitutional assaults. He stood by and watched until President Bola Ahmed Tinubu from another political party intervened. Gentlemen, it is PDP we are talking about, the largest political party in Africa, a solid institution different from all the, all the other one-man political parties in Nigeria. Gentlemen, the reason a political party exists is to campaign for power, win power and control power. Therefore, how can some of our former members working with APC government claim that they are in PDP but mobilizing support for another political party? How can Damago hear this statement while claiming to be our national chairman and he's still in bed with these men and their co-travelers? There could be only one reason, and that is Damago is the driver of this bus these co-travelers are riding in at the expense of the suffering masses. You cannot be working for those interested in the downfall of PDP and yet claim to love PDP. It is not just possible. Under Damagu, PDP lost the entire Southeast, that Hitoto was a comfort zone of the party. PDP controls only Enugu State, which he literally snatched from the jaw of a lion. We lost Benue, Abia, and Sokoto. The PDP leadership kept moved, while PDP state and federal lawmakers lost their seat at the tribunal and court of appeal on grounds that were obviously untenable, which would have been obtained by the Supreme Court. If the party has spoken up and raised the necessary alarm, all our colleagues in Imo and Plateau State particularly would have been with us in the assembly today. So gentlemen, it is our call on Damagu to immediately step aside that the party, so that the party can midwife a process and hand over to someone from North Central in line with the provisions of our party constitution. It is also our call to the leaders of our party from the North Central the Governor of Plateau State, His Excellency Caleb, His Excellency David Mack, His Excellency Abubakar Bukola Saraki, Senator Abba Moro, His Excellency Babangida Aliyo, to rise up now and save the soul of the party. The enemies have gotten to the last bridge, and we must defend it and push them back. No reasonable person can boast with his membership of a political party where the activities of that party are decided in the National Secretariat of another party. PDP is bigger than every one of us. It is an institution, a beautiful bride that resonates with Nigerians whenever, whenever we get it right. The only authentic party that is democratic in Africa. The ruling party has the last nine years presented their first 11 and their second 11. And Nigerians have tested it, and now without that, the PDP is the true democratic party for the people. As the country is today drifting, 
every reasonable Nigerian should be truly worried that the PDP is facing such attack from within its rank and in particular its leadership. It should even worry the ruling party that there is no credible opposition to keep them on their toes and ensure their performance, except they do not want to perform. So the death of PDP will not be victory for any person who claims to love Nigeria. Gentlemen, the servitude of these invaders in the leadership of the PDP to the ruling APC has made them keep quiet to all sorts of things happening in the party. They keep quiet because the atrocities are being committed by their cohorts and allies who they deceive that they possess the power to destroy the PDP. PDP is too big to be sold and PDP cannot be sold. Soon they will find out and would have the, 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 soon they would have found out and would have only ended up wasting their uh, uh, paymaster's money. Let us call on Damagu once again. Damagu, 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 how many times did we call you? Voices have risen from the National Assembly to speak out and stop you. You have a chance to resign immediately, leave or be embarrassed out of the party. At least, 60 of us in the PDP in the National Assembly will severe all relationship with your leadership until you leave office. At the scheduled National Executive Committee meeting, if Damago by any maneuvering, however, conducted, remains in office with the help of his APC friends at the end of the day, the party is now heading to the final slaughter shed. We have been briefed of plans and ongoing mobilization and lobbying of some PDP neck members by APC loyalists masquerading as PDP, PDP members to issue a kangaroo vote of confidence on Damagu to enable APC continue their hold on the party via their agents who claim to be PDP while on APC mission to destroy PDP. Instead of allowing North Central produce the acting chairman as required by the PDP constitution, pending the conduct of a convention or resolution of pending litigation, the pro-APC -APC forces within working with Damagu want to affirm Damagu as chairman of the party at the next meeting to help them set the party on the path of irredeemable, irredeemable condemnation. If IU is in court, why not allow an acting chairman from his zone to act pending resolution of all the issues since the tenure of office zone to them is running and cannot be reversed? In case Damagu does not remember, we will remind him now. President Bola Meitimbu was in opposition until 2015. If he was trading his party for porridge, he would not have been where he is today. So thinking that Aswaj is even impressed by this mercantilist agenda of trading of the PDP would be infantile thinking. Yeah, Aswaj could be benefiting now, but he truly sees you people as chief political betrayers and merchants who hold no values there and have nothing to offer. Could you not have respectfully worked for Aswaj without losing your respect? Gentlemen and fellow Nigerians, who have wondered why Damagu kept quiet, why the 27 members of the River State House of Assembly elected on the platform of the party, left the party. He kept quiet while they were threatening to impeach a governor in his own party. Nigerians will be shocked to hear that Damagu was consulted and he was fully aware of all this plot. That is why he refused to lead the party, the party to resist. If Kwan Kwaso could lead PDP and build their party and win Kano State with several federal and state lawmakers, and Peter Obi also left PDP to grow Labour Party to win Abia, as well as several federal and state lawmakers, then Damagu and his friends working for APC could as well leave PDP and go ahead to support APC boldly since their spirit is already out of PDP. But their attempt and much lesson to keep PDP is totally unacceptable and it is the reason we have stepped up to save the party. So as a last ditch effort of rescuing the party and for peace in the PDP, we demand the following. One, immediate resignation of Elmar Ili Yudamago as acting national chairman of PDP for anti-party activities and allow North Central produce the acting chairman as clearly stated in the PDP constitution or watch us reconsider our membership of the party in the months ahead if the writing is not done. Or removal of Omar Damagun by the neck of the party with further sanctions against him for anti-party activities. Three, that the neck of the party should ensure that the list of party caretaker committees in River State and all the other 10 states tampered by Damagu and his APC friends are reversed and announced as originally agreed. That is by extension of the tenets of the outgoing leadership. That the move to use seven APC members in Rivers and 10 other states to lead our party caretaker as state, LGA and world level is the highest act of political provocation and impunity 
that we are going to fight with everything in us. PDP cannot be handed over to APC. APC officers cannot emerge as our party officials in Rivers or any of the 10 states with alleged imposition of their interests. Let the world know that why they are hell-bent on imposing APC officials as our party caretaker members is to fulfill a planned bigger plot, which will see so-called PDP members, who in reality are APC, the campaign in mass into APC as PDP officials, which will see the imposed executive of our party in over 11 states, including Rivers, joining on APC on their state date, just embarrass our party. Hence, our resistance that will fight with everything in us and to any land to resist that plan. God save the PDP. Just imagine imposing card carry members of APC in the entire PDP structures in Rivers and 10 states in the country. God, how did we get here? The neck of PDP should review the sources of generating finances for the party to pay its national secretary staff and to discharge all other responsibilities of the party and also to investigate the allegation that pro-APC supporters are funding the present PDP of today. This is the height of political treason. The PDP neck should set up a committee to investigate all continuing art of anti-party activities from 2023 and method appropriate sanctions which will serve as deterrent and also encourage the cleansing of the party. What executive of our party where people have involved in anti-party activities are still involved like Cross River State, River State, Benue, Abia, Ondo, Kogi, Imo, Edo, should immediately announce the expulsion of all those involved without fear or favor. This must be done immediately. Any executive that cannot do this should be removed by members in those wards and new officers who have the courage to enforce the provision of our party constitution constituted to do the need for. That a credible party leader from North Central be confirmed chairman of the party in line with the zoning formula as enshrined in the constitution at the upcoming next meeting of our party. Where these demands are not met, we, the opposition lawmaker coalition from PDP in the National Assembly, will be left with no other option but suspend participating in party activities and seek new political relationship where decision in that party will not be taken in the secretariat of another political party. But this is the last of the last part where every other reasonable effort at resolution of this issue fails. PDP is a great party that means well for Nigeria. PDP will emerge from this challenge stronger and will one day in the near future take over the government of Nigeria again and return the country to its glorious days. Also, in a related development, we have received credible intelligence of a plot to use the Federal High Court, and I repeat, we have now received credible intelligence of a plot to use the Federal High Court to secure a secret expert order that will attempt to legalize the illegal extension of the about to expire tenure of LUJ chairman in River State, which was carried out by the former members of the State Assembly who lost legitimacy as lawmakers the very moment they came to APC, knowing fully well that there was no crisis in PDP. Hence, their seat as lawmakers became vacant immediately. The remaining legitimate members declared the seat vacant. We are raising this alarm in view of the legitimacy of, in view of the legitimacy of the desperate, the illegitimacy of the desperate move, which, if not halted, can lead to anarchy and collapse of constitutional governance. We want to call on the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court and also Justice Omotoshe and other eminent judges to be aware of this plot, that those behind it are already celebrating that the expert order is in their pocket, awaiting release to the media, even when the case has not been heard. To our respected chief judge, we are compelled to publicly bring this shocking development to your attention for the interest of justice and preservation of the image of our nation's democracy and judiciary. Few days ago, we received credible intelligence that a suit filed on behalf of the Abuja-based former House of Assembly members in River State, whose seats have been declared vacant, over their decapment to APC, even when there was no crisis in PDP, but still parading as lawmakers and changing laws in the middle of the night from the corner of their hotel room in Abuja and Emoha LUGA, where they are gathered and made to make legislative announcements without the legitimacy or due process to do so. Our dear Chief Judge, Honorable Justice J.T. Soho, we wish to inform you that this strange suit, which our intelligence has shown, is alleged to have been filed at the Registrar of the Federal High Court, will be assigned to Justice Omotosho, who is expected to issue an injunction legalizing the illegal amendment and extension of tenure 
of the about to expire LUGA chairman in reverse in order to keep them in office with their tenure extended without an election is a great aberration and risk capable of tarnishing the image of the judiciary if this is allowed to happen. We are lawmakers, we are lawmakers, and we have great respect and confidence in the Federal High Court to nip this ugly alleged development in the board, if still active. We are confident that these men of unimaginable desperation, touting the name of respected judges in their Biapala gossip, are out to ruin the respected name of judges of the Federal High Court, and the court must be careful in handling such obnoxious applications, which are targeted to carry out a judicial and legislative coup against democracy by extending tenure of local government chairmen whose tenure are about to expire without allowing constitutional, democratic, and electoral process to take place. The desperation of these Abuja-based former lawmakers and their penchant for any action that is illegitimate prepared us not to take the intelligence lightly, hence the need to draw the attention of our respected judges to this alleged imagined development that must be crushed at all costs for the sake of the image of our judiciary. For those who do not know both in the judiciary and the entire country, let us state it clearly. The cruise of the matter is that the former members of the River State House of Assembly whose seats were declared vacant came out from hiding one day and announced illegal amendment to the River State LUGA laws unilaterally without the legitimacy carried and without legitimacy and carried out an extension of tenure of the LUGA chairman which is about to expire and said they can remain in office as long as required without any tenure again or election process as the basis for holding such office. This is a legislative coup, legislative rascality, and insertion of the process for constitutional democracy. The law was dead on arrival as it was made by men and women unknown to law. It was made by people without the legitimacy to make such law, and hence their claim of overriding the governor's assent was the height of their legislative rascality and political hallucination. Now, sensing that the illegal amendment is unenforceable, these men and their agent decided to drive the judiciary into this madness with the alleged application seeking to issue them expert for unenforceable to be enforced, including an order to seize and hijack the LUG allocation due to rivers and be sharing it from the comfort of their hotel room in Abuja and Emoha. This could lead to anarchy. This is a grand assault on democracy and rule of law. And if our judiciary is ever dragged into this, our nation, our nation would have been taken back to the dark ages. Hence, our call on the National Judicial Council, the Federal High Court, the Nigerian Bar Association, and all relevant authorities to ensure that our courts are not used to carry out the infamous alleged act of using an expert order to legalize the illegal tenure extension for local government chairmen in River State whose tenure are about to expire. We are also calling on the federal government to be at alert especially judiciary, as we have been informed about another prayer in the suit, seeking to order the Accountant General of the Federation and the Federal Ministry of Finance to seize the legitimate local government allocation of River State, deny the River's people access to their constitutional fund, including LUGA workers and primary school teachers who will not be paid while the money should be sent to the LUGA chairman whose tenure will elapse in the coming days, who in their retirement will be sharing the allocation of the people based on the illegal law that claim to have extended their tenure without any election producing them. Haba. Even in Mubuti Seseko, Congo, on Kruzusa's Burundi, people could never have imagined this kind of recklessness. We wish to state clearly that the opposition lawmakers will not take lightly any move to extend the tenure of their about to expire LUGA chairman under any guise or scheme. You cannot be in office and your tenure is expiring in a few days and somebody makes a law from a one-bedroom in Abuja and Emoha, extending you to be in office without an election. That is madness. The opposition is calling on the president, as a Nedeko bred Democrat, to call those pursuing their selfish, greedy ambition, but illegally using his name to carry out constitutional destabilization activities in reverse to order. They have breached the peace accord and carried on as though they are the only ones that have monopoly for crisis and violence. They have no atom of respect for the president. The allocation of River State cannot be stolen using an expert order. Neither can the LGA chairman whose tenure have expired be allowed a second chance in office under any circumstances without going through an electoral process. That the people of River State have maintained peace in the face of all this evil provocation, and that should rather be that should be appreciated 
and not something that should be taken for granted. Let all men of goodwill stand up and join us in saying enough is enough. The legislative recklessness in River State must end now, and the attempt to drag the Federal High Court into granting expert order to seize the river's LEG allocation and stamp the illegal extension of tenure of about to expire LEG chairman by a group of people impersonating as lawmakers after their seats have been declared vacant must end now. Thank you and God bless. I will invite